So, Sifu. I remember when this game was first revealed, I was really intrigued by the fluid combat, the focus on the combat system, and the minimum yet pleasing aesthetic. Come to find out, Sifu is an indie game. In the driver's seat, we have Slow Clap, a studio based out of Paris. Prior to Sifu, Slow Clap created a game called Absolver, and from the looks of it, that game was also a combat-focused adventure. And thanks to Sifu, this is a game I may also look into in the future. Now, if you saw the title of this video, this is a first impressions video and not a full-fledged review. I'm not sure if I can do one for this game anytime soon, so if you want to see me struggle to play this, feel free to follow me over on my Twitch channel and I'll be doing a few runs over there. But without further ado, let's get into it. So starting with the presentation of the game, like I stated, I love the overall aesthetic of the game. The game kind of has this high res, cell shaded look to it, and at the time of this recording, I've only seen two levels of the game, the squats and the club. The squats has a very nice lighting system, and I love hopping through these buildings to reach the boss area. The club features a nice neon aesthetic, and when fighting, I love to see the glass breaking and other set pieces you will find in the actual nightclub. The game does a very good job with the aesthetic, not overly complex, but a very nice nice looking experience overall. Now the gameplay. This is where the game truly shines. The combat is very satisfying and definitely the highlight of the experience. Now when I first played this, the first game that came to mind was Yakuza. The sections we have to run through a building or a tower fighting multiple enemies accompanied by flashy animations. Now of course, Yakuza's combat is nowhere near as kinetic or in-depth as Sifu, but I can definitely see the similarities. The way I can describe the combat is very quick and kinetic, but not mindless. You actually have to learn how the game works, how to counter, or how to be patient. This is not the type of game where you have to button mash your way through. You have to actually think about each move you make and the game will punish you for being reckless, so be careful. The game also has this age mechanic. The more you die, the death counter will count towards your age. Every 10 years, your character will be stronger but will be more fragile. When you complete an area, the game will save the age that you completed the stage at, which is great because it causes you to want to get the lowest age possible. The boss fights are also very intense and again, you have to stay focused and not be reckless because these bosses do not play around. So far, I'm only two levels in, and even though I'm getting beat up, I'm having a great time while doing it. Come catch me over on my Twitch channel to watch me get owned left and right. I thank you all for watching this first impressions, and I'll see you next time.